Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this vamp makeup look, a dark smoky eye paired with ombre lips. So let's begin. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette and starting with the shade Burnt Orange Through the Crease. These shades are so pigmented which makes building up colour a breeze. This shade starts off soft but can gradually enhance to a burnt orange suitable for my skin tone. To make sure I warm up the entire eye, I'm also switching the brush to the more dense side and I'm going to apply the shade to my lower lashes. Picking up the shade Red Ochre on a MAC 217, I'm applying it just under the crease shade. As you can see, I'm only picking up a small amount at a time and this will ensure that the shades gradually build up making the blending process a lot easier. Next, using this Designer Makeup Tools Bullet Brush with the same Red Ochre shade, I'm going to do the same steps to my lower lash line and then I'm connecting the red ochre on my lower lash line to the red ochre on the crease. Going back to that burnt orange shade, I'm going to buff out the edges of my eyeshadow. Now for the dark smoky eyes, I'm taking the shade Cypress Umber and slowly packing it on in small increments using a flat shader brush. You have to make sure to take your time in building up the colour because if it's a rush job, your eyeshadow will look patchy. I'm alternating between packing on and blending out. If you're after a more darker smoky eye, before the eyeshadow, apply a dark coal eyeliner all over the lid to act as a base and then pack the brown eyeshadow on top. This little trick will create more depth. Grabbing my Ride or Die Inglot AMC number 77 gel pop with a bent liner brush, I'm creating a little more definition on the upper lash line. I'm not winging the liner out, but I need some colour close to my lashes for the lash band to blend into. Today I'm using my Sophia Lashes by Huda Beauty. Once I'm satisfied with the placement, I usually pinch them together with my natural lashes. And then coating my lashes with mascara, the L'Oreal Feline Mascara has got to be my absolute favourite as the brush is perfect for creating those dull eye bottom lashes. I know I look crazy here, but I applied foundation all over my lips before outlining with Max Night Moth Lip Liner. This step locks the colour in for longer and makes it look more vibrant. And for a more ombre effect, I'm heavily applying the lip liner to the outer corners. And then applying Maybelline's Possessed Plum on the centre of the lips and blending the two products together. Maybelline's liquid lipstick is definitely the most comfortable liquid lipstick I've ever worn and the smell is amazing too. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys like the look. Leave your comments below letting me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Love you guys so much and thank you for watching. Bye!